Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is part two of my Timu unboxing. Now, this was so big, it was a seven pound bag, and I decided to split it in half. If you didn't see the first half and see what we got, um, then you're going to have to watch the video from yesterday. Okay, so watch both videos and see everything I got. And um, like I said, it weighed seven pounds. And so um, it was a lot of stuff. And so I decided to split it in half instead of having one 45 minute video. So I'm going to flip this over because this is the way I opened it. I'm going to move it out of the way. And I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. I have not looked inside. And um, that way it'll be a surprise to you and me. Oh, cool. I've been wanting these. These are stickers that say handmade with love. Handmade with love. And you can put it in your book. Or instead of sticking it in your book, when you uh, sell a book, I would uh, uh, put it on the wrapper or a business card or, you know, whatever. Um, if you wanted to stick it in your book, you could, depending on what your theme of your book is. But I've really been wanting some of these. Um, I'm also going to start using wax seals for, um, and put a T in there for, um, Terry. Okay. Oh, uh, these are my dragonflies. These are stickers. They do have a white border, but you can always trim it off. I'm just going to take a few out. This thing is stuffed full. I believe there's 40 of them in here. Oh, nice. So we have these different dragonflies. I love dragonflies almost as much as I like flutterflies, which as we all know is what I call butterflies. Here's a few more. Each one is different. Those are very nice. Let me hold a couple of them up close. Now they're shiny. See if I can get it to where the camera will focus. This one's gorgeous. And I really love the uh, watercolor effect in this one. Now remember in video three, which is going to be next Sunday, um, we're going to give some of this stuff a whirl and um, try it out in a uh, product testing and review. Right now I'm just opening them up and showing you what I've gotten. Get in there, dragonfly. Or which one are you? Yeah, I'm going to put these in a different container. Okay. This is a pencil uh, extender, and what you use this for is when your pencil gets really small, instead of throwing it away, you stick the end of your pencil in here. Let's see if I can get it open. You put the end of your pencil in here, and it holds it for you. And then when you've got your little stub, because, you know, some pencils are really expensive. Some of your um, colored pencils and um, like the Prismacolors, they're very expensive and you don't want to waste any of it. This end is bigger. This end is smaller. Well, obviously, it's kind of a Mr. Obvious, wasn't it? So these are going to come in handy. Here's some more stickers. This bag is not a toy, it says. So um, these are, let's see, I really didn't want to open them. These are tickets. It's an opening, isn't it? So here's the tickets, and they're cards. They're like um, ephemera. Well, that worked out okay. Let 
I think this is just mixed. Yeah, this is just mixed. This one's thin. These are a little bit thicker. There's, there is a couple tickets in here, but most of them are little tags and just different. Oh, that one's pretty. Look at that one with the owl on it. Okay, so that's what those are. Some ephemera. If I can get that back in there, like I did the other one. There we go. And this little fold over here helps hold them all in, so that works out well. I might just mix them together in a container. We have some clips. So to help hold our pages together. These just um, these just slide on. These might be the, the bookmarks. I got some bookmarks. Yeah, that's what these are. They're not clips. They slide on the paper. They're nice and tight. And they're different colors. I got them to help with the organization. When I write out my videos, for my tutorial or my craft alongs and um, I put a paper clip here so I know where to start the video uh, to start typing them up where the video series starts. So instead of using that I'm going to use these because they're color coded. So these are going to come in handy. And I don't know how many are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably 25, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, ah, 20, 17, 18, 19, 20. And they're very sturdy. Remember the plastic is a choking hazard. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Oh, this is a cable holder. So when you're um, running your cables to your computer so you can hook up your video camera and your uh, mouse, maybe if you still have one with a wire, um, or uh, when you're running them off the table, it's got um, a nice uh, super sticky 3M sticker. 3M is a good brand. And then you just stick your wires in between and it holds them on the side of your desk. Very nice and handy. Like I said, there's a couple of office supply things that will help you um, get organized a little bit in your crafting area. And then most of them are crafting items. And another one that I don't remember what it is. It may be... Let's get it open. It's got one of those fold over papers. There it is. And it looks like it's in another bag inside the bag. I think it's too small be one of those. I'll have to take the lid off. Let's see what we got here. Isn't that funny that I get some things and then when you look at them away from the picture of what it is, then it's kind of hard to tell what it does. Oh, I know what this is. This is my security roll. You roll this on your, um, oh, I guess it comes with the ink on it. And I thought I could use this um, instead of just using it for a check. You see there? I thought I could use it. Um, there we go. I was pushing it too hard. Like that. 
um, in my journal. So really this is to put across your um, uh, signature or your account number or whatever on a piece of paper so that people can't read it. But that's not what I got it for. Not sure. Look at all the ink I got on me. I wasn't sure if it was inked or not. Um, I'm not sure what this part is. This may be how you open it to re-ink it. But it does come with the ink on it. it it's not, you, you don't have to roll it in ink. As you can see, it comes with the ink on it. It's very nifty neato. Very handy. Double-sided tape, which I've never used before, so now I have some. Three rolls. I think it was a couple bucks, maybe, for three rolls. I think it's a dollar a roll at the dollar store. So it was actually cheaper than what it would be, so it probably was $1.98. Remember, the links to all the items from both videos are going to be under the video uh, under each video, because I'm not going to try to figure out what I opened in which video. So I'm going to put the links to everything in both halves of this unboxing in the text below the video. And they'll probably send me a discount code to use for you. And um, you uh, can only use it if you're a first-time buyer. So if you put the code in and it says it's no good, um, it's because you bought from Timu before. But everything is 90% off or more, so. Let's see. These are cards. Let's see what kind of cards I got. Oh, I believe they're blank. Yes, they're blank cards so that I can use them to put in with the book. You can put that mate, Handmade with Love sticker on it. You got to be careful. That ink is still on everything. So that's a good idea. These are markers. The post office kind of did another number on my package. Um, they're duo. I think. No, they're not. They're highlighters. They're different colored highlighters. Very nice. Pastel colors is what I picked out. Remember in the third video, we're going to be doing some demos. I think I already said that once. Oh, this is the coolest thing. I've already ordered one of these from Timu, and, um, and I just love it. It goes under your desk, and it glues on like this, and it's a little drawer. The noise you hear is there's little screws. There's little screw holes if you want to use the screws. But um, I used the double-sided sticky, and boy, is it sticky. So you better get it right the first time where you want to put it when you stick it up underneath your um, desk or whatever. I have a um, a thing <laughs> that I hold my stuff on and it's open on the bottom and it goes like this. And so I could stick this underneath here if I wanted and use it as a drawer. So here's your little drawer part. Here's your two-sided tape. And it's foamy. A little foam. And then the little screws are in there too. This is one of my favorite things that I've gotten from them and that's why I got another one. Gonna have to move stuff out of the way I think here in a minute. Got some bigger stuff coming out. This 
also it is for your desk and it's got a sticky that sticks along here and then it sticks on the side of your desk and it gives you these little cups to store things in and um, I got mine for my um, I have a TV tray that I use next to my couch as a little nightstand or not nightstand but end table and I got this and one of the other things in here that I haven't opened yet that I know is in here um, and I'm going to use them uh, to help me out and I can put my pencils and things like that in there when I'm working on my um, on my TV tray in the living room doing stuff you know put a pair of scissors in there and different things like that it'll sit on you can put it attach it to the side of your work table just like you can put this under your work table and um, I'll attach these I already know these this is awesome but um, I'll attach these and then I'll, I'll let you know how it worked out. Um, I may take photographs and put it in the middle of the video. Let's move everything out of the way here. Oh, this is just something that I wanted. It's a USB nightlight. It's a circle with sand in it. So when you turn it, it um, there's a light in the base. And when you turn it, obviously the sand moves and it makes different patterns and then you just set it in there and it works as a night light and that's something you can use to run one of these cords through that's what this is for is to run these cords through here and keep them organized it's a cord organizer trying to see how hard this is going to be to come out. So I want to put it back in the box. So you see, oh nice! So there's a little bit of water and then when you tip it the sand moves and it makes a whole new image. Well that looks like a rainbow. And then you move it back and it slides again. It's hard to show you on camera. You see it move. There we go. Very nice. And it's sturdy. That's um, two pieces of glass and some water and some sand in the center. That's nice. Like I said, there was a couple things I got for myself and then everything else I got for crafting and um, organization on my craft in my crafting area or in the first video, um, I got a journal and a daily planner and those are exactly what they sound like, journal and daily planner to help keep myself organized. I like being organized. Most of you guys know that doesn't mean if you're not organized that it's bad. A lot of people like to work in orderly chaos. This is a little, um, it's a USB light. And it's a motion sensor. And I also got it for my TV tray. So that when I reached over to get a pen or a pencil or something like that, the light would come on. Ooh, this box is smushed. I don't know if I want to try to take this out right now. Anyway, it's a bar light with little those little USB bulbs in it. I mean the um 
What do you call them? Like a ring light, those kind of lights in there. So I can't wait to try that out. Colored paper clips with the uh, rubber on them in a little box. You can use those in your journal to clip your little items in there. Oh, this is for an iMac. I got it for my um, Chromebook. It's a um, computer case. My Chromebook is a 10 inch screen. I love this color. It's got a handle. It's got a pocket on the outside. You wouldn't believe the pile of plastic wrappers I have down there. And then it opens up. Oh, look how nice that is on the inside. So you're going to slide your computer into here. And then you have two nice big, um, or a nice big mesh, um, or a nice big pocket. And then you have a mesh pocket on either side. And it's padded. This is very nice. Very nice for the price, too. The price was very, very reasonable. And I don't remember what it was. It was less than 10 All of this all together was um, $150 was the budget that they gave me. So if you um, have been paying attention, um, I believe I got 35 or 36 items. I did get a couple of bigger items. So if you had stayed with all the little stuff, my friend uh, Cassie over at Creative Paper Studio, Creative with a K, um, she's doing an unboxing and I believe she has 58 items. This, oh, these go in the, in with the pens from the first video. The little package came open, all the pens came out. This is an ink pen. It has 10 colors. Which I guess you know what I'm going to do. Remember when I was telling you guys my, oh, that was in the first video that my to-do list every day is organized by color. So this is nice and big so that I can hold on to it. You just slide it down. Hmm. Yeah. They don't seem to be sticking. So I'm going to have to say this item Oh, that one did. You have to do it kind of quick and it'll catch. Alright, so you just have to play around with it a little bit. and um, But it's got 10 colors. And a little panda bear head. They had all kinds of different little heads on them. And so I picked the pink panda. So that's going to come in handy once I figure out how to get them to stay um, pushed out. And it looks like the last thing in my bag. Check these out. Look at these. When you're working on a, um, whoops, when you're working on a project and you need to put your um, kit papers all in one place, sorry about that noise, then you can put them in this. They're mesh so you can see through them. Well, it's not mesh, it's plastic, but um, you can still see. It's got a zipper on the top, not just a, um, not just a, uh, Ziploc type thing. It's got an actual zipper 
you can see my hand through there so you can get an idea of what your paper is inside. And it came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the package. These are very, very handy. They're big enough for a piece of paper. And then some. Very nice. Okay, so that's the items. Let me, uh, I'm going to set this to the side because they're so big. So this is what we got in this one. These pens go to this over there. Lots of good stuff to review. And then, like I said, we, next week we will um, demo some of these or use them in something so that we can um, see how it goes. So that was this video. Yesterday's video had these items. Staple puller. One of my favorite items, and I lost my other one. Washi and the corner punch. Pen holder, my new kitchen timer, time my videos. We had our uh, uh, paintbrush washer and palette. It comes with a palette with the lid on the top so you can close it up for watercolors. Got my... Um, to-do list and my journal, my stamps, <laughs> my stamps, my pencil holder, my wax seal, um, silicone mat, little bitty ruler, and all these pens, and here's the last two that go in here. And there are 24 colors in here. They're fine liners. I think next time, uh, Timu has some uh, calligraphy pens. Um, or, you know, the ones with the nib on them. And I think I might try one of those and see if I can get a little bit of nice handwriting going. Can, I could use them on those cards, you know. Okay. So, that's it for this video. Be sure to go back and watch yesterday's video if you didn't see me unbox the first half of all this stuff. And um, I will have another video on Sunday, a week from today. And so that will be just a week for you and a day for me, a day for me to record it. Okay? All right. I'll see you guys later and have a great day. Bye-bye.